I'm back with our first book. So for our first few videos, I am picking from some of our favorite books from the past two years. And I'm gonna read my favorite chapter. I went through last night and I picked out from all of our favorite novel studies, I picked out what I thought was my best chapter. You guys can disagree down in the comments if you have a different chapter that you liked better. So first off, drum roll please. We have The Wild Robot by Peter Brown. You guys know how much I love this. You know how much I love Peter Brown and all of his books. So what better book to start with? The Wild Robot. And I brought along my friend, Chit Chats, over here. She's not in the chapter I'm going to read to you, but, you know, she's Chit Chat. And we all love her, so she's going to stay right there with us. So I am going to start reading chapter 42. But before I start, I want us to take a big, deep breath together. Big, deep breath in. And blow it out. One more big deep breath in. Blow it out. And let's get started reading. Chapter 42, The Strange Family. It was a sweltering afternoon and the heat had put everyone in a bad mood. Roz was standing in the shade watching her son out on the water. The other goslings were teasing him about something when they suddenly burst into laughter and Bright Bill turned and hurried home with a stormy expression on his face. He stomped into the garden and Bright passed his mother without saying a word. What is wrong, Bright Bill? said Roz, as she followed her son to the, into the nest. Nothing, he squawked. Leave me alone. Tell me what is wrong. I don't want to talk about it. Maybe I can help. Mama, the other goslings were making fun of me. What did they say? They called you a monster, and they laughed at me for having a monster mother. They should know by now that I am not a monster. Would you like me to talk to them? No, don't do that. It'll just make things worse. The robot sat next to her son. Mama, I know you're a robot, but I don't understand what a robot is. A robot is a machine. I was not born, I was built. Who built you? I do not know. I do not remember being built. My fir very first memory is waking up on the northern shore of this island. Were you smaller back then? Said the gosling. No, I have always been this size. Roz looked down at her weathered body. However, I used to be shiny, like the surface of the pond. I used to stand straighter than a tree trunk. I used to speak a different language. I have not grown bigger, but I have changed very much. The robot wanted to explain things to her son, but the truth was she understood very little about herself. It was a mystery how she had come to life on that rocky shore. It was a mystery why her computer brain knew certain things, but not others. She tried to answer Bright Bill's questions, but her answers only left him more confused. What do you mean you're not alive? Squawked Bright Bill. It is true, said Roz. I am not an animal. I do not eat or breathe. I am not alive. You move and talk and think, Mama. You're definitely alive. It was impossible for such a young goose to understand technical things, like computer brains and batteries and machines. The gosling was much better at understanding natural things, like islands and forest and parents. Parents. The words suddenly left Bright Bill feeling uneasy. You're not my real mother. Are you? There are many kinds of mothers, said the robot. Some mothers spend their whole lives caring for their young. Some lay eggs and immediately abandon them. Some care for their offspring of other mothers. I have tried to act like your mother, but no, I am not your birth mother. Do you know what happened to my birth mother? Roz told Bright Bill about that fateful day in the spring, about how the rocks had fallen and only one egg had survived about how she put the egg in a nest and carried it away, about how she watched over the egg until the tiny gosling hatched. Bright Bill listened carefully until she finished. Should I stop calling you mama? said the gosling. I will act like your mother, no matter what you call me, said the robot. 
I think I'll keep calling you mama. I think I'll keep calling you son. We're a strange family, said Bright Bill with a little smile, but I kind of like it that way. Me too, said Ross. So that is the end of chapter 22, 42 of The Wild Robot. Um, so that was my favorite chapter. I especially like the end that we're a strange family, but I kind of like it that way. That was kind of the theme of our classroom, I think, is we're a bunch of different people that come from different families at home, but we all get together and we're one strange little family together forever. So down below in the comments, I have a assignment for you. Oh, by the way, did you see I was wearing my Raj sweatshirt that I wore for literacy day? Um, so down below in comments, I want you to make a connection. You know the three kinds of connections, right? I'm going to do the motions and you guys are going to say the words at home while you're watching. So the first one is, the next one is, and the last one. Okay. Hopefully you remember all those down below, write your connection and which kind it is and impress me because I know you guys are all amazing. Say bye to Chit Chat. She'll probably make another appearance, you know, because there's that other book. Okay. Wild Robot. Bye, guys.